Konnichiwa, k p r a k r e a c t this. And yeah, today we'll be reacting to another J pop girl group, XG. Um, I've really, I haven't really checked out a lot of XG stuff, so this will be my first reaction to XG, guys. I do know some of their songs,、um, I think Shooting Star was one of the songs that I listened to XG. But I haven't watched all their MVs actually. <laughs> Alright, so that's why we're doing an XG MV marathon today, guys. And since there's no、uh, new K pop、um, today, guys, as well, there's no K pop, new K pop releases today, guys. So we're just gonna arrive to XG MV Marathon. Well, I'm gonna be doing an XG MV Marathon for this reaction, sir. <laughs> Alright, so before we do the reaction,、um, we're gonna go through the、uh, K pop profile first for XG. Alright. XG, Extraordinary Girls, is a global girl group under X Gal X. The group consists of Churin, Jurin, Chisa, Kokona, Hinata, Maya, Juria, and Harvey. They've been preparing their debut since 2017. They made, they made their debut on March 18, 2022, with their first single, Tippy Toes. All right. So the fandom name is Alpha Z. I really like the fandom name. <laughs> um, yeah. XG official accounts. I'll put it in the description, guys, if you guys want to follow XG on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube,、um, Facebook as well, TikTok, Weibo, and Weverse. What is the meaning behind XG? XG stands for Extraordinary Girls. Alright, I'm not going to read all of this, guys, so I'm just going to go through the profile really quick. And if you guys want to check out、um, more of the members, I'll just put the Link to the profile, guys, on the description. description. <laughs> so we got Jurin, the first member. Asaya Jurin,、um, born on the 19th of June 2002. She's a leader, lead, lead rapper, main dancer, vocalist. Height 158 centimeters, blood type A. Nationality Japanese, all right. Jurin. Jurin. She was born in Chigasaki, Kanagawa, Japan. She's the first member to be revealed. She was revealed in January 29, 2022. When she was 15, she was a fashion model. Jurin was a student in AVEX Artist Academy. Alright, so that's Jurin. Like I said,、um, just、uh, check out the K pop profile for XG guys if you want to know more about them. Um, and then Chisa, second member.、Uh, Kondo Chisa, born on the 17th of January 2002.、Um, Sub leader, main vocalist, 157 centimeters, 5'1. She's Japanese, of course. <laughs> It's a full Japanese group.、Um, she was born in Osaka, Japan. She has amazing vocal skills. She was an actress before and under Kansai Collection Entertainment. All right. Her hobbies are taking selfies, doing makeup, and singing. She's the mood maker of the group, like a son. All right. And then we got Hinata.、Um, Hinata Sohara Hinata. That's her full name. Born on the 11th of June, 2002. Main dancer, sub vocalist, 157 centimeters. 5'2, um, nationality Japanese. Hinata was born in Aichi, Nagoya, Japan. Hinata is half Japanese, half Korean. Oh, she's half Korean. But her full name is Japanese, though. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> That's l i s <laughs> Yeah,、um, she was rumored YG Entertainment trainee. Hinata can draw very well. And then we got Harvey. Harvey looks like half half Japanese. <laughs> Alright, Harvey. Her full name is Amy Janet Harvey. I'm guessing she's Australian from the looks of it.、Yeah. Let's see. Main rapper, sub vocalist,、um, born on the 18th of 2002.、Um, height 60 centimeters. Nationality Japanese, Australian. Yeah, she is half Australian. 
Another Japanese Australian. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Actually, she's the first Japanese Australian that I've, I've seen so far. Yeah. Um, she was born in Tokyo, Japan. Um, her father is Australian. Her mother is Japanese. Harvey's favorite hairstyle is two ponytails. Harvey modeled for brands like Vogue Girl. She likes practicing Spanish songs. <laughs> She's in charge of uniqueness of the group. She likes unicorns, rainbows, colorful, and shiny things. Alright. And then we got Juria. Um, Juria. Ueda Juria, her full name, also known as Yano Juria. Yano Juria, right. Um, she's a main vocalist. Um, born 20th November 2004. Lots of old national Japanese. She was born in Osaka, Japan. She has amazing vocal skills. Juria was once part of the local idol duo Juru, Juri Puri under the stage name Juri. Um, she appeared in the commercial search as the commercial for the Nintendo 3DS game Chao Irasto Kurab. It's a Japanese guys. She, when she was 11 years old in the commercial for Piramekino in 2015. <laughs> and then we got uh, Maya. Maya looks gorgeous. Oh god. <laughs> and she's oh she's kneeling down, man. Oh that's that's, that's insane. She's insane. Uh, Maya. Her full name is Kawachi Maya. Um born the tenth of August 2005. <laughs> Lead vocalist rapper. Height 156 centimeters. 5'1. Um, nationality Japanese. She auditioned for Tokyo Girls in 2017. Doesn't say where she was born though. Oh, she she's fluent both in English and Korean. Oh, we got an English speaker in the group besides, I guess, Harvey. And she can speak Korean as well. Alright. In terms of Bowen's dance, she just thinks that she's in charge of powerful. Alright, and then we got Kokona, for the last member, I think. Uh, yeah, Kokona. Akiyama Kokona, that's her full name. She's the main rapper. Sainensho. So, Sainensho is the, like, maknae in Japanese, which is the youngest. Um, born the 6th of December, 2005. Um, actually, the Japanese, that's it. She is a student of AVEX Artist Academy and a member of its project group ACE. She won the 2018 Kira Chell Chal Audition in the singing category. Kira Chell. Alright. Alright, that's pretty much it for uh, the members of XG. I think so far my favorite uh, member has to be Maya in terms of visuals. Probably Maya and, um, I guess, Hinata. Yeah, I like Hinata as well. Yeah, I'll probably go with Hinata and Maya. Well, but they're all visuals um, um, as well. Yeah, Hinata and Maya, but I'm gonna go for Ma Maya for my bias. My main bias in XG. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for Maya. Let's see the uh, results. Okay, my is actually the least favorite member. Interesting. But I really like her. <laughs> and then um, Hinata's next to Maya. Actually, the most popular is Harvey and Jurin. Hmm. Interesting, because Harvey's half Australian, but a lot of people seem to like her. And Jur Jurin as well, Jurin, alright. Alright, so this is XG guys, and now we're gonna react to their MVs. Starting off with their debut song, Tippy Toes. We're not gonna react to the choreography, by the way. We're just gonna react to the MVs, guys. All right. Probably I'll do the um, performance reactions uh, some other time. Not for this reaction, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. XG they promoted in Japan and also in Korea as well. Um, for their in the comeback, I think their comeback was latest comeback was Shooting Star, and I think they performed Shooting Star in Korea as well. They promoted that song in uh, music shows in Korea.
All right, so let's um, react to XG. Tipitos. I would say XG is also a global group because you know, their songs are in English, but they're all Japanese. So and they are promoting Korea and Japan. I guess you could call them a global group and a J-pop group as well at the same time, right? Let's react to Tipitos. I can't believe this hard because I have to show it. Ooh. But I did say, you know, my is my bias, so. Yeah, I'm still trying to know the members. <laughs> I think I memorized their names. Julia, Kopona. I'm just pause. Yeah, Joria, Kokona, Harvey, uh, Maya. Chi, chi, chisu? Chisa? Chisa? Yeah. Probably, I'm, I'm, I'm pro I probably missed an, uh, one member. <laughs> They've got good rapping skills, though. Oh. Boss mode. <laughs> I think they can all speak English because they're a glo global J pop group. Yeah. And you know, um, XG has that, you know, Korean. Korean has that. Yeah, XG has that K pop uh, sound. I also well, forgot to mention you know, that the company is actually based in Korea, guys. So, but they're promoting Japan, and Korea. So, and that's and, that, and that's what makes them a J-pop global girl group. <laughs> I'm not sure about the song, not, it's, not, it's not my type of song though, but I, I would say it's good, but it's not that really, you know, incredible, it's like something that will really capture your attention, but it's just, you know, I guess, introducing you to members of um, XG, you know, so you got Kokona, Juria, um, Chisa, Harvey, uh, Yeah, Kogono, Chisa, Harvey, Ko Still trying to remember the, mem the names of the members, guys. Chisa. Yeah, Jurin, Jurin, uh, Hinata, and Maya. Yeah, Hinata and Maya. So, this is pretty much just an introduction to XG, guys. And honestly, I didn't like the song. Because <laughs> it's not my type of mu uh, music, but um, I think it's still a good debut for them. Yeah, let's, let's just move on. Um, let's watch their first comeback, which is XG Mascara. Of, um, this was released um, actually nine months ago, right? 
Mas mascara, mascara. Uh. Oh, this has better than tippy toes. Because <laughs> we got actual vocals, man. Look, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is a bop. Are you gonna let him pay? Are you gonna let him stay? Oh. They have a really unique um, genre, man. And you don't see this uh, this concept in other J-pop songs and MVs, yeah. So far, SG is the only one doing this concept. <laughs> for, well, for J-pop. Are you ever let him pay? Are you gonna let him stay? Yeah, this song is catchy as hell, man. I really like the pre chorus in this uh, in the song as well. I think that's the best part of the song. Mascara, yes, that's right. I think this should be, you know, the debut song. And then Titos is just like a free debut song, I think. Oh. We got, got, got some chest movement as well from the, the choreo. Such a good comeback already. Yeah, I think this is by far their best um, title track as well. Well, I've still haven't listened to the other um, comebacks yet. But yeah, mascara's mascara so far. I think it's my favorite song from SG. Yeah, so far. It's, a, it's such a really good song. Um, uh, obviously, it sounds better than Tiptoes because you got actual vocals for this one. And the chorus is just really um, catchy, man. It's, it's a bop. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give um, mascara a ten out of ten. Yeah, <laughs> I prefer not to give a rating on the debut song Tippy Toes because it's, it's their debut song. So yeah, but for Mas mascara, uh, this this comeback is ten out of ten. <laughs> All right, now the rest are back to the second comeback. Shooting Star, which came out two months ago. It's, qu it's quite recent, I guess. Oh, I would say they're really good at rapping, yeah. Oh, the visuals. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, this is a good song. Actually, it sounds better than Mascara as well. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not Girl Crush, man. Mascara was a Girl Crush song and Tippy Toes as well, but this... This sounds like a pop song. It's like a hip-hop pop song, yeah. Hip-hop J-pop song. <laughs> Or the men. Oh. Oh, I love this song. The high note. I'm not really sure who, who did the high note. This. Yeah, I'm still trying to know the members. It's probably one of their main vocalists. Oh, <laughs> honestly, man, I think Shooting Star sounds better than um, Mascara. Yeah, I, I like this one. I really love this one, oh, Shooting Star, yeah. Well actually, um, Shooting Star is actually my best, not my best, Shooting Star is actually my favorite um, comp title chart from them so far. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. Alright, now let's react to their latest um, comeback, which is Left Right, which came out just a month ago, alright. Left, right. This sounds really good too. Oh. And the rap. Oh. oh, what? Are you kidding me? This is this sounds better than shooting star. The, the song just keeps getting better and better, man. I just love that they only sing English men in their songs. It gives them a unique um, identity, man. Because they're the only global J pop girl group you know, that sings fully in English. Yeah. This song is a pop. Left, right, left, right. Oh. 
It's making me, uh, my body move left, left and right as well. <laughs> I can't believe I've been sleep I've been sleeping on um, XG Man. Which one is Maya? Come on! <laughs> I need to remember their faces, man. So I know who my bias is. So. But so far, man, this this comeback is so good, man. Literally, like shooting star, mascara shooting star, and then this latest comeback, left right, um, ten out of ten. Absolutely love them. Uh, all the songs, uh, except Tibby Toes, they're actually really good. Yeah. I think Left Right is my favorite title track now. It was Shooting Star before, but now it's Left Right. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do reaction now, guys. Um, I really enjoyed watching FCG Man. Uh, Alright, so that's. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my MV Marathon reaction to XG and after watching all the MVs man I think XG they're one of the best um, girl groups right now in J-pop I guess you could call them a global girl group as well because they're promoting both in Korea and Japan and they're one of the best girl groups in, in general as well that's, that's all I can say they're really talented, um, and a lot of you might have didn't like Tibetos, but their previous comebacks has been really good. So yeah, um, definitely gonna react to some more SG in the future. I think they're one of my favorite um, J-pop girl groups as well, and yeah, probably gonna react to their um, vlogs. To their vlogs as well in the future because I really want to know the members <laughs> and yeah excuse me they're just, they're just really incredible that's all I can say and the fact that they're the only girl group that sings fully in English it's just mind-blowing <laughs> yeah super talented and yeah I, I, I love their songs such an incredible um, girl group as well Alright, so um, check out my other J-pop reactions as well. I reacted to Niju, MV, Marathon, Part 1, Part 2. And also to Moonchild, Teasers. Well, so far I've only reacted to uh, Kawaguchi, Yurina, Niju, and Moonchild for, for, for J-pop. And you know I'll be doing some more J-pop reactions in the future as well. And um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Also follow music right for other days, K-pop news and J-pop news. And um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next J-pop um, reaction. Honestly, man, XG, um, they're one of the best girl groups um, in general. <laughs> and stand them if you still haven't um, stand XG.